going to be another gorgeous sunset and look here we got something new now i kind of debated even putting a compass on this boat because frankly when i was on charlie's boat i, I rarely looked at his compass you know most of the time the autopilot's taken care of it's just going after a navigation point and even when you're on the ocean there's a line on the chart plotter it's pointing at your waypoint so yeah i don't think you need a compass but for betsy and charlie who sail a lot yeah we need a compass and yeah why not and then the argument is well what if you lose your chart plotter well every phone has a compass on it and every ipad has navionics on it and my computer has navionics so uh, you can pretty much navigate without a compass anymore, but eh. And this one was a gift from Charlie, so it's nice to have on the boat because it's nice to have something to remind you about your friends. Okay. Now the problem with compasses is they don't like big metal boats because that throws them off and they don't like power being run near them. Power there and there's power in that conduit. Power up here and there's a lot of power over there from the solar. So out here on its lonesome will probably be its best place. Well that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you don't get lost. It's not about where you are. It's about the direction you're headed in. Send us a picture of your projects. What'd you make today? Inspire others to get off the couch too. Well done.